Shalom. I would like to give our praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racham Kadash. Give our honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to all you sincere Akim across the globe that's laboring and pushing this word and our truth. All right. I'm going to start here, 1 Peter 4. All right. This is 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. All right. Right. You see that fiery trial, okay, is the various, you know, temptations, you know, trials, tribulations, you know, uh, certain situations that we uh, are going to have to face uh, as we have our walk in this, in, in this uh, faith, you know. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to look up fiery, uh, fiery trial, or the word trial, rather. Fiery trial. Not sure if uh, the audio picked up, but in Strong's G forty four fifty, Pyrosis. All right. So they have down here, and it says calamities or trials that test the character. All right. You see that calamity as a test. All right, a trial. You see, it's just like uh, let's say. Uh, if you start a, a job, right, and you're like an attempt to hire, okay, or well, they put you on a probation period, right? So that whole point of that is to try you, to see what you're about, you know what I'm saying, see if you fit for the job, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> hey, through the uh, spirit, man, the Heavenly Father is doing that with us, man, all right? You see, hey, we're all laboring in hopes of being of the elect, okay? Can't no, no uh, none of us know for sure that we are of that number, man. Okay, but you know, in hopes of be, uh, being of that number, all right, we would, man. We we uh we have to endure, all right, endure all the hardships, the trials, the tribulations, all right, and to be proven by the heavenly Father, man. All right, as that definition uh, says, you know, calamities or trials to test the character. All right, so we're steady being examined. All right, seeing if we're going to, uh, you know, uh, walk according to this word to the best of our ability, man. You see, uh, become stronger in the faith, man. Learn from these uh, situations and grow from them, man. All right, apply that wisdom of the, uh, of the, of the word of your, uh, your heavenly father, man. All right, unto our lives. And, you know, so, right, going back to the scripture, 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, um, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, all right? So when these things start happen to, happening to us, all right, uh, you know, we may uh, go through financial troubles, you know, job troubles, you know, uh, you know, things like that, you know, become ill, all right? Don't look at it as, as, as a strange thing, man, all right? to understand that, you know, is all part of the will of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, the trials. Uh, verse 13, but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings. All right, Yahweh Shah. That when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Okay. Right. Verse 14, if he be if he be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of the Most High rested upon you, and on their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. All right? And that, you know, that fits, you know, as we're all being uh, uh, reproached, okay? You got all these scoffers. Uh, popping up left and right, more so than ever. All right, uh, that's 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 against us, man. For being followers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, following the correct doctrine. All right, 
and you know teaching this word man all right you see you got men that that's against your shop outright man all right and some of the things that these guys are saying man out of their mouths man it's, it's like do you consider the things that you are uh, saying man and the impact that that that, that has man because hey you know every man is going to be uh, uh held accountable for for, for uh, every uh, idle word man out of his mouth along with your actions and deeds man okay the lord is not playing man okay well right man you know so you got all these uh scoffers you know that's ultimately against you how about you have a shot man okay but you know they, they they come against us all right you see it says if he be reproached for the name of Hamashiach and Hamashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of the Most High rest upon you. And on their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Okay, right. Because it's much more worse for them. All right. So, hey, rather us, we would rather to suffer for righteousness sake, man. Okay? You know? Hey, and ultimately, everyone's going to, you know what I'm saying, suffer anyway. All right? Remember the, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right? A great judgment is uh, coming upon this place, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, rather us to go through it now, all right? through these different various trials and you know things that we deal with now to build us up all right to make us stronger for that time all right and, uh with the hopes of enduring through that all right because really these are uh hey let's uh paul said these are nothing but light afflictions are everything that we're dealing with now man all right so forgive me uh let me get back to the uh scripture uh, first Peter 4 15 but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters yet if any man suffer as a Christian let him not be ashamed but but let him glorify the most high on his on his behalf all right so right don't be ashamed of the gospel man all right don't be ashamed of uh you know going through these different trials and uh you know what I'm saying temptations man all right you see don't let these things uh sway you from from the faith all right you see uh so I'm gonna go here to uh you know as we all know this uh, scripture but this is a uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 2 and Uh, I'll just get straight to the point, all right? This is verse 5, all right? All right, this is uh, Sirach 2 and 5. It says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right? You see? Going back to that fiery trial, all right? Um, right? <laughs> So yeah, man, it says, whatsoever is, forgive me, uh, verse five, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right, so that far we try all these different things that we uh, gonna have to be put through, all right, is the trials, man, this gold is tried, man. And it said acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? Cause you may have those that are called and don't stand the test of time, man, all right? Don't endure, all right? That fire, all those afflictions, all those, uh, you know, uh, you know, various trials, you know, take them out, all right? They're not acceptable until you out, buy some you out of the shop, okay? Uh, you see? But we got to have faith and continue to endure, man, all right? Because uh, ultimately, you know, as I said before, this is all about the will of the Heavenly Father to put us through these things, man. All right. Uh, verse 6. Believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him. 
ye that fear Yah, the Lord, wait on his mercy. And go not aside that she fall. You see that? Ye that fear the Lord, man. All right. You see? If we have fear in the Lord, man, you're going to, you know, um, do what he says to do, man. All right? You're not going to, uh, the time when, you know, things get hard, you're not going to turn your back on the uh, Heavenly Father, man. All right? Oh, this is too much. I can't take it out. You know, it, you know, and ask yourself this. You think it'll be easier to to uh, <laughs> go uh, go back into the world? Well, hey, maybe it is to some, you know what I'm saying? Well, apparently it is, you know, that some men have, you know. But it's like, what would you rather not go through this for right, you know, suffer for righteousness sake is the point I'm trying to make, you know. You see? Because at the end, what? If we endure, we should receive a great reward, man, in the Lord, man. All right? You got to understand the Most High is not a man that he should lie. He's a man of his word. All right? The scriptures that says, he that believeth uh, on the Most High must believe that he is. All right? Um, matter of fact, I'll get that in he uh, Hebrews. All right? I don't want to misquote it. All right. Yes, Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith. All right. So faith is faith is very important. Okay. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see that? So right, you know. He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him, man. Okay. Constantly enduring, all right, and, and living according to his standard, man, to the best uh, uh, that you can, man. All right. Not having doubt, all right. Not losing hope. Uh, you know, turning your back on the Lord. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to have the kingdom right here and now. All right. You want to partake in the in the. Uh, the false riches of this world instead of, you know, laboring for a, a uncorruptible crown, okay? So going back to Sirach 2 and 8, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. So there it is. Our reward will not fail in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, all right? If we continue to uh, labor and do the righteous works, all right, and believe in him, man, okay? I have to get this uh, verse, Sirach 2 and 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see, did any, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the answer is none, man. All right. You see? Hey, uh, it's that Romans uh, 15 and 4. All right. The things are written before time were written for our learning that through the faith of the comfort of the scriptures we may have hope all right so we take the examples of our forefathers man who had great displays of faith all right and we use those accounts you know the trials and various things that they went through and you know use that as a uh, exhortation for us all right which means to help build us up man in the faith okay you see that even even today, man. Even 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 today, man. We have examples of uh, a great faith being displayed amongst uh, those, uh, you know, brothers, man. Starting with our apostles and uh, elders, man. They've been pushing this gospel uh, consistently for uh, thirty plus years, man. All right, going hard, even going harder now, man. Okay, showing great display of faith, man. All right, brothers giving testimonies of different trials they went through and certain encounters they had and how the Lord delivered them out of that. All right, even you, even, you know what I'm saying? Even you may have been through certain things, man, and, and made it through uh, by having faith in the Lord, trusting in the Lord, man. All right, you see? I know myself, I have, man, okay? So that's that that uh that faith, man, that we that we have in the Lord, man, or should have, man. 
all right? He's not going to, you know, turn his back on us, man, if, you know, we continue to do the right things, man, all right? So I'm going to end there. Uh, Lord willing, this was a verification, all right? And uh, with that, once again, I'll praise his glory and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rachakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect. Shalom.